I'm with Jason from Haddington Dynamics. Jason, tell us a little bit about what we have here and what you do. Yeah, thanks, Bass. Now, listen, this is our 3D printed um, robot called Dexter, and it's Dexter HDI. It's our latest model. And what it is, it's a pretty unusual robot. It's a cobot, collaborative robot. And what that means is that it can interact with people. So it's there to really help people increase their productivity in work cells, for example, and a, and a host of other things that general purpose robots get involved with. Um, also, um, it's 3D printed, and that's why we're part of the Mark Forge family. Um, awesome, tell us a bit about that, because I mean, everything sounds so fascinating about this. Are they printing some of the parts or the whole thing? Right, so it really, yeah, um, out of this assembly here, we've got over 230 parts that we print on the Mark forged um, system. Now um, out of that there's about 20 of those that have the actual continuous fibre which gives us about 500 megapascals of flexural strength and that's pretty key for things like the, the gears and differentials inside the robot itself. But what we unusually do rather than a lot of robots out there obviously are mass produced and, and to, we figured out to actually tool up to um, bring all of these things into an injection moulding thing would cost us about seven million dollars just to get the tooling. So what we've done instead is we've got uh, 20 3D printers back in Las Vegas and out of that 20 3D printers, uh, Mark IV 3D printers, we can produce 30 robots a month. Um, so that just gives us that, that on-demand uh, parts and enables us to iterate really quickly and it, and it also saves a huge amount of tooling costs. Um, so really it's a flexible robot that we can actually um, make fit for purpose really, really quickly with the Mark Forge system. It's pretty crucial. And also, you know, the Mark Forge um, Onyx that we actually print this in, is, is it, it comes up with a great finish anyway. People would assume it's actually injection molded. So there's a number of things. It's pretty crucial to our whole business plan. But what, more importantly, and why I'm back in Australia, and I am an Aussie, uh, but I live in Las Vegas with the rest of the team, we've actually set up the first micro factory outside of the States in Australia. So from now on, these are gonna be actually manufactured in Australia. It's one of the only robots manufactured in Australia, in Toowoomba, wow. in, in Queensland.